in. And Matilda waits, and that's a kick like a viper's tongue that can come out any minute and kill off Shunt. Oh, he's not going to go again, surely? We thought Shunt was unbeatable and fearless. Oh, the Nemesis boys all want to go into space, and they're in the air! They're in the air! And they're on fire! Robotiers, stand by. The Nemesis team from Dublin, controllers Peter Redmond and William Murphy, aviation technicians backed by engineer Joe Gavin. Nemesis' primary weapon is a pneumatic ram, 150 PSI pneumatic ram. Even though we might look furry and friendly, we've got a 2 mil stainless steel can. We're going to take plenty of bashing. Three, two, one, activate. The Dublin boys with Nemesis, haven't they got good taste? Red? And black polka dots and that ghastly grin and red fur, surely vulnerable to flame, I would have thought. But this is a good run. Already dead metal's out of it. Look at that horrible grin. And Matilda waits, and that's a good dummy for Matilda. And that's a very good run, and they're through. Well, that was fantastic. But it is a good piece of fortune you never went near the flamethrower. Oh, thank God for that. I thought he was going to destroy us. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Good. Nothing could destroy them. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Nemesis gives Shunt the eye. And that evil grin. Those spikes look deadly as well. It's all about traction and torque. And Nemesis could talk in tongues here because there's a little pneumatic ram shaped like a viper's tongue that can come out any minute and kill off Shunt. Oh, he's not going to go again, surely? We thought Shunt was unbeatable and fearless. Go on, Shunt, get out. Talk about living on the edge. And Nemesis surely through. Marvellous. <clears throat> that was my friend. And you knocked him off. <laughs> yeah, we stuck the tail out with the three big spikes and jammed the wheels. Is that what you did then? You were able to knock him off? Yeah, well, that's tactics we were working on all day. <laughs> this is getting to be a habit. Everyone's killing my mate. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you for winning that. Who are we up against? Who do you want to be up against? I'd say we'll have a chance at all of them. <laughs> with all of them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it won't matter. Follow me down the table to meet your opponents for the semi final, the Roblox team. Hi. Trouble is, we just can't seem to make up our mind what blade to use. <laughs> now, all they've got to do, really, is just bash their opponents into several small pieces within a specified time. But if there is no clear winner, a decision will be made by our panel of adjudicators using four criteria. Damage, aggression, style and control. On the left, we have Eric Dickinson, the only British veteran of robot wars in America. In the centre, there's Professor Noel Sharkey, who's head of robotics at Sheffield University. And on the right, there's Adam Harper, who is holder of the land speed record for electric vehicles. The man did 150 miles an hour in a Sinclair C5. The man is certifiable, but he's not as certifiable as our opponents, who will now indulge in the first semi-final. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Roadblock and Nemesis not only need to avoid each other, but our own house robots in their patrol areas go in there and you're in trouble. The boys from Dublin will use the spikes and the hydraulic prong. And Roblox will use that saw, activated by Hender Blewett. And Roblox could choke on a furball. Nemesis being ripped to shreds at this moment in time. They need to get away from that saw. Oh, that could be a mistake by Roblox. It's gone in with Matilda and the spikes, and it's impaled on the spikes. Matilda's saw. And that vicious tail. This could be a tail of two saws. Roblox away. Now attacks Nemesis again. Gets underneath. The Nemesis boys all want to go into space and they're in the air. They're in the air. And they're on fire. Get the fire brigade. Aye, aye, you're in trouble. Nemesis is on fire. It could all be over for Nemesis shortly now. Nice. 
Well, as you can see, the soft furnishings are on fire. Fire extinguishers have been brought out. So, pretty obviously, Roadblock is the winner. Not even gone, aren't I left? It's only cosmetic. He'll be back to fight again another day.